Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're doing another 3D printing shopping haul video. We're gonna find some good deals that you can find for 3D printing things over at Harbor Freight Tools. Let me see if I can, there we go. That's a little bit better in picture there. Let's head on in and see what we can find. I ended up having to move my car because it got really crowded and yeah, I don't like filming in front of a ton of people in a parking lot. Also, it's super bright outside, so hopefully the video looks okay. I'm also gonna ditch the jacket because it's kind of warm in here. So for those of you not familiar with Harbor Freight, it is a really cheap tool store that's a chain across the US. I'm not sure if it's outside of the US or not, but they've been known over the years for selling really affordable tools and even better is they typically have really deep discounts or coupons. Well, unfortunately, over the past handful of months, they've done away with their coupon program, which is, you know, I've been using this location and this store for years and years to find really good deals on different projects that I'm working on. And today we're gonna to be looking at specifically things that I found useful for 3D printing projects. And unlike the dollar store video that I did recently, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive to buy some of the things there, but it's still really good deals compared to other sites that you might find online. So the first one I wanted to show you is this four inch magnetic parts holder. This is perfect for any time that you are disassembling and reassembling your different 3D printers and wanna make sure that you're not losing any of the bolts or screws or anything like that. These come in so handy when doing your repair work. And speaking of magnet holders, this is a 18 inch magnet holder. This is a bar. I already have one of these in my workshop area. I've bought another one because I have a separate room, but basically what you can do is use this to hold all of your other drill bits or Dremel attachments, or uh, maybe it's the screw, the, the bits that help you remove the uh, the heads of your, your Dremels or whatever it may be. I'm actually planning on using this one specifically on my workbench so I can stick on all of the different size Allen wrenches and have them nicely organized and quickly accessible when I'm working on different printers. I know in my previous dollar store video, I talked about clamps. Well, these are my absolute favorite clamps. These are the ones that you can get from Harbor Freight. Keep an eye out. They will typically run deals on these throughout the year. I pick these up all the time and constantly losing them. So thankfully they're pretty cheap. And yeah, they're just super, super durable and strong compared to the ones that you might find at the dollar store. Obviously they're a little bit more expensive because I paid $1 for one of these. Uh, the slightly larger versions of this, I think are about $1.50 or less. But again, you can sometimes find these for sale as well throughout the year. One of my favorite things to buy from Harbor Freight are these plastic funnels. It's a four piece funnel set. It is perfect. Perfect, and I mean perfect for anybody doing resin 3D printing and working with resin, or maybe you're mixing with paints and wanna have a funnel for your paints, but uh, the price point on these is fantastic. You get four of them in varying sizes. I already have, I think this is the third set that I've now picked up, and you can just never have too many of them. This larger one is just perfect, a perfect, perfect size. Another safety item are glasses. These safety eyeglasses here are fantastic for any time that you're doing any sort of support removal or working with FDM or resin 3D printers. Again, I have a few different sets of these. I typically end up getting them really junked up, so I don't mind uh, replacing them every, you know, once a year or so. And they're nice and big. They fully cover my eye, so nothing's gonna sneak up under or over and poke me in the eye when I'm working with Again, it's typically with support and removal or when you're doing Dremel work, something like that. It's even handy if you're doing spray painting or airbrushing in cases that you wanna wear some sort of eye protection. Another really great find at Harbor Freight are these wood burners or even their cheap soldering irons when it comes to combining your printed parts. If you want to weld them together, these are really cheap, effective ways for you to not junk up any of your nice tools and you can find something really cheap. This is great because it has a variety of different tips that you can work with as well to give you, you know, different effects that you might want to go for, or different angles to get in and either clean out or again, I typically use these for my PLA prints when I'm looking to really just solder them together. Another one that I didn't actually pick up on this run because I use it daily and I already own two of them and I don't really need a third at this point is the really long, I think it's a 12 plug 
outlet strip and they're heavy duty. I have one bolted to the underside of my workbench and then I have another along the back end of one of my racks that hold all of my 3D printers. And at that price point, you really can't beat it. Also, when it comes to printer repair, you might end up having to do some electrical work and needing some of these shrink tubes. So if you're doing any soldering work and need to cover up the cables, you know, any of the work that you've done, this is a fantastic buy that you can pick up there as well. One other item that I didn't pick up, however, I'm really tempted to are these jointed knee pads. Not really 3D printing related. I just wanted to share this with you because I think it would look wild as part of a cosplay project. You just need to repaint them. Maybe you could 3D print some parts and attach it to it. And it's the price point was like 35 bucks on sale. Another item that I wanted to call out is the digital calipers. I already own two sets of these and I don't need a third, but I did want to share that with you because this is where I got my digital calipers. I know you can find them online and you just want to shop around and price compare. But again, sometimes those go on sale and at that price point, it's hard to pass those up. I also use a lot of XTC 3D for smoothing out my 3D prints and these 36 pack of chip brushes is really hard to beat and they work really well and it's just a one and done type of brush that you can use and really dispose of after you're done with it. It's probably something a little bit too large for most of your miniature or other replica prop painting projects though. I almost forgot that I bought these smaller set of rare earth magnets. They're a 10 piece set. Uh, I buy these, typically buy these in bulk. They are great for some of your projects, your printing projects. If you're working on, again, just maybe it's a, a mechanical piece or something, it's a cosplay piece that you need magnets for. This is a great place to score some really cheap magnets and they're really small and very strong, which is also good. You, know, you need something like that for your magnets. Now I mentioned this in the dollar store video, but this is really where I get a lot of my glue from for my Etsy orders. So this is a 10 pack of super glue, super cheap, and it's more or less you can use it a few times. It's just a, a little bit of super glue in there. But what it's fantastic for is if you're selling 3D printed pieces that need some assembly by the buyer, I will include one of these with my orders so that they have the tools necessary to actually finish their actually printed build. And it's one less thing that I have to actually do on my end. And then the best part again is you can buy it in bulk with 10 of these for a really low price. I also bought a few things for my workshop that I'm gonna be magnetically attaching to my table. The first is gonna be for my disposable gloves. Uh, this is gonna be a great way for me to actually store those so that's not taking up desk space and it's just gonna hang off the side and it's magnetically attached. Another one is a magnetic paper towel roll holder as well. And they sell these in a variety of different colors, which is also cool. So if you wanted to just spice up your workspace a little bit or your print space, you can easily do that with these uh, paper towel as well as the glove holders. And speaking of disposable gloves, this is where for the past, I don't know, three years now is where I've been buying all my disposable gloves. Before this past year of craziness, it was a lot, and I mean a lot cheaper to buy these. Unfortunately, it's still relatively expensive, but it's uh, it's a better price than what you can find over at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, and you're getting a, a, a hundred set here. I always get the extra large gloves as well, which are typically slightly too large for me, but it makes it easier for me to take them on and off. And I try to get at least two to three uses out of them before I throw them away. Another great find at Harbor Freight are these needle file sets. They are crazy useful when it comes to filing down your FDM 3D prints or your resin 3D prints. I use these all of the time. And the best part is if you need to, you know, swap them out once a year, you're not spending an arm and a leg on them either. If you're not already catching on to the theme here, a lot of the things that you're buying from here are gonna be disposable. You're not spending, you know, $200 on a tool that you're gonna use for years and years and years, you're spending 10 to $20 on something that you're gonna use a handful of times and then more than likely have to throw it out. Another must have from Harbor Freight are their floor mats. These are foam floor mats that I will use. You can put up, I mean, you can use them on the ground in your workshop area to stand on, which is great, but I use them on my printer benches so that I help reduce some of the noise and vibration that's coming from my 3D printers. I have these throughout my workshop. 
I also picked up my very first airbrush kit from Harbor Freight. If you're looking to get started with airbrushing and don't want to spend a ton of money, this is a fantastic way to get started. And again, not spend an arm and a leg on a compressor and airbrushes and all the tools that you're going to need for this. You can also buy cleaning supplies, uh, the little canisters there directly at Harbor Freight. And again, all super cheap and a great way to get started before you want to start investing into more expensive airbrushes or investing in more expensive air compressors. One thing that I did buy that was probably the most expensive thing that I bought all day today was this cart. I specifically did this video around this because I need some way to better organize all of my 3D printing stuff that I'm selling. So all of the supplies, whether it's the boxes or the stuffing or labels or even the prints, I need a better way to organize that where it's not just scattered on tables or on the floor. And I, I thought this was gonna be a really nice approach to it since it has three different tiers that I can work with. It was also only 50 bucks metal and has wheels that I can roll it around. I mean, I can't really beat that for the price. Another fantastic find are these socket sets. So when it comes to swapping out your nozzles on your 3D printers, it is insanely helpful to have one of these socket sets. Now I have a really expensive socket set that I use. However, I'm constantly needing to get it out of my workshop and then bring it over to the print area and find the correct attachment. Whereas this is relatively cheap. I think it was five or six bucks for this entire set. And now I can have this one directly dedicated to my print space. Another one that's not necessarily 3D printing specific are these utility knives that you can get for really cheap. I always buy these at least once a year. <laughs> They're great for unboxing things or breaking down your cardboard boxes. Harbor Freight's also a fantastic place to get sandpaper. This is a 10 pack of sandpaper, 220, 500, 1000, and 120 grit sandpaper. It's a great affordable way for me to stock up on sandpaper when I need it for smoothing out my 3D prints. I also have a larger painting project coming up and I picked up this automotive H. VLP spray gun kit. It's a two gun kit, uh, comes with a case and cleaning supplies and the two containers. I've never used one of these before, so excited to try it out. I also grabbed some more paint strainers with this. Again, I can reuse this not only for the painting, but for all my resin needs. And I picked up this gravity feed stand here so I can more easily paint filter into the, but I don't know. I saw it there with it and I just decided to buy it. It'll be fun to test all this stuff out. So hopefully that was somewhat useful for all of you looking to find some good deals and have a Harbor Freight nearby, or maybe you've never even walked into your Harbor Freight and wanted to know more about it just to see what kind of things you might be able to find there. Again, super cheap stuff. You're not probably gonna get a ton of uses out of it. Who knows? I've had those digital calipers for years now and I just swap out the batteries and they work just fine. Or some of the other tools that I have in my workshop are directly from there that I've had for years and they work just as well as something that I might've spent twice as much money on. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to Elgoo for continuing to sponsor the channel and these videos and supporting me with making crazy content like this for you guys here. I'm gonna be using a lot of these tools and supplies here directly with my Elgoo Neptune 2, as well as my Elgoo Saturn and Elgoo Mars 2 Pro, along with the other Elgoo amazing resin 3D printers. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you're interested in finding out more about my Patreon and how you can help support me and the channel here, you'll find links down below to that. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this shopping haul and if I missed anything that you consider a must-have to pick up over at Harbor Freight. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time. Bye now. I gotta pick not such a sunny day to record these videos. Maybe like an overcast day and hopefully that works a little bit better. I'm still not used to recording in the car and the setup and it's an absolute disaster right here, by the way. Absolute disaster.